We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Yankees and the Minnesota Twins. The Twins have played excellent baseball of late. They'll try to bring their win streak to a baker's dozen next. Jose Barrios gets the starting nod for the Twins. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matt, thanks coming on Jose Barrios, and this guy has all the tools to be a great one. Great velocity with life, 94 to 97 miles an hour, power slider, and it's a big sweeper. His changeup is getting better. If this guy brings all three Leading pitches off, one of these the days, Yankees. he has the potential to throw team. a no-hitter. At Brett. the plate, Brett Gardner. Gardner. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. First pitch of the ball game misses here, and that's how we begin this four-game weekend set. And, guys, as we take a look at the Twins at the start of play here tonight, all you can really say is they've been on one heck of a run. Matty, this is the best team in baseball right now. I, I mean, just a double-digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees leadoff man. Hard on the ground towards short. And an offline throw, but boy, look at him stretch out and keep the foot on the bag. Great concentration there for the first out. The second baseman, DJ LeMahieu. Standing in, DJ LeMahieu. And as you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. First pitch of the at bat. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Good night for baseball, all in all. Game time temperature 63 degrees. One out, nobody on. Now a swing and a bouncing ball for Donaldson at third. In time to first, and there are two away. That is third. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron Judge. So stepping in, Aaron Judge he comes in today, leading the American League in batting for the season. Fantastic season all the way around. Not only does this guy just get on base by base hits, but he also leads the league in slugging percentage. So he's up there doing a lot of damage. First pitch on its way. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Hey, they say solos won't kill us, but I got to believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Pitch on the way. A ball and two strikes. The count now with the bases empty and two away. Bases are empty here with two men out. Popped him up. Gonzalez over to his right. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So the Yanks go one, two, three. Yankees nothing. Twins coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. James Paxton gets the call for game one of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Here's a guy that numbers can be a little bit deceiving. He has a whip in the 1.3 area and above range. It's a little higher than league average. He's been a little bit inconsistent. One good game, one bad game, but don't let that whip fool you. This guy's a much better pitcher than that. And if he brings Leading his A game, he win. could be awfully tough in this the one. Second base Into the box now, Luis Arias. He'll oh, leave things oh, off yeah. here in the bottom half of the first. Down the third baseline. And that's through for a hit.
Hey, this game's starting off exactly the way they want it to. That Lead off second. single in the it's bottom of the first fielder. after their pitcher Fire went out there and threw a donut on the board. The boys are flying around. Here's Byron Buxton now. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they came up a little short last time out, but they've still been one of the hotter teams around, winning eight of their last ten ball games. Yeah, Maddie, this team finds itself with a huge lead, double digits right now, and climbing, playing really good baseball. Some people will say, oh, you don't want to have that big a lead. You start resting on your laurels. I, I, I look at it the other way, man. You've earned the right to kind of get some guys off their feet if the manager wants it. There's a lot of different ways you can go about it. This team's focused and playing really good baseball. I would not worry about it. Keep pushing the throttle. Ani chases after ball three, and instead it's two and one. So let's take a peek at the umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Ricky Holiday. Yeah, Dan, we got Ricky Holiday behind the dish tonight. I can't figure his zone out. He doesn't favor the hitter or the pitcher and can be a little too inconsistent at times. Dero, you hit the nail right on the head. I think one of the things we're looking for, we're looking for a consistent zone. If it's a tight zone, it's a high zone. Have the same zone. His zone fluctuates a little bit too much for my liking during the course of a game. The three and one pitch he is swung on and missed to full count now. 88 on a changeup. I remember when an 88 mile an hour fastball wasn't all that bad. Man, the game's changing. Working for the punch out and the offering. Now a little pop up off toward the first base side. Voigt is over and he's got it for the first out of the inning. Batting third, the right fielder, Nelson. Here's Nelson Cruz. Cruz now. And you see what he's done in recent action. Obviously seeing the ball well right now. Here's the first pitch to him. Arise, base runner at first with one out. Counts even at one and one to Nelson Cruz. The one one home he is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. The one two gets him swinging. He struck him out. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was excellent that because if it's put in play, the there's a good chance hitter. it's on the ground Be for careful. a double play. And hey, a strikeout Don't always go. works too. So the big bat of Miguel Sano digs in next. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He'll come in here at 259, a dozen home runs, and he's driven in 45. On its way, the 0 1 pitch hit down the third baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Ready on 0 2. And this one's in the dirt. Good job there as the count goes to one and two. A runner on first with two away. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one.
chopper to short. Torres picks it up. Throw over to LeMayhew at second, and that'll do it. One left for Minnesota. We are still scoreless. Into the box, Giancarlo Stanton. He's, of course, a long ball threat, currently third in the American League in that category. You know, Matty, when I think of this guy, I think of damage near the league leaders in RBIs as well, Dero. That's the stat that I think gets overlooked so much in today's game. I remember back to Chipper Jones. He used to say, how many biscuits can you put in a basket? It's Runs and ribbies. Ball. And he certainly has a knack for being able to drive in that big run. The windup and the 1-0 pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Buxton is there and he has it for the first down. That is it. The shortstop. Labor. Torre. So digging in now, Torres. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. First offering on its way. Oh, had him oh, chopping boy. at that one. It's nothing in one. Ah. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. I got to count one and two. Hey, I get it. He wants to set up that breaking ball down and away, but that 0-2 fastball wasn't even close. The pitch. Whoa. And that Man. one misses badly. It's ball two. And he popped him up back into foul territory behind first. And that's going to land foul. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Now the three and two pitch to short. Gonzalez is up with it. And that's the second out. That is fifth. The catcher, Gary Sanchez. So bases are empty here with two gone. And the next to bat, the Dominican born catcher, Gary Sanchez. First delivery to him on the way. Below nope. the knees, one ball, no strikes. Perhaps a little low there. It's 2 0. No score here as we play inning number two. Skied into straightaway right. Cruz will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Now in the box, Mitch Garver. The head-to-head the head with James Paxton. He's 0 for 9. Mitch Garver. Here comes the first pitch. Nope, at the ball. Count one and zero. The one zero home. That's ball two.
down the left field line and deep. And no one will get this one. The 2 2. Hot shot on the ground is short, and that finds its way through for a base hit. Batting fifth, the first baseman, Max Kepler. Now at the plate, Max Kepler, and he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. First pitch of the at bat. Nobody out, runner on first. Swing and a miss, and he needs a little discipline here, 0 and 2. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. Here's the 0 and 2. Nope, ball one. You got to think our man behind the plate thought twice about that one. About as close as it gets. The one two is a changeup that's looked at for a ball. That's a good but risky take there on 0 and 2. Some umpires have no problem ringing you up on a pitch that close. Here now the 2 2. Okay. This is the kind of pitching that's frustrating for me to watch. He had him down 0 and 2, then he started getting cute, and now the count is full at 3 and 2. It happens, but I'd rather see him attack the hitter and force contact if you can't get him to chase after a pitch or two. That misses. So a single and a walk, and it's first and second with nobody out. Two ways to look at this walk. If you're the hitting coach, you say, that's a great A-B. Down 0-2 and you work the walk, but if you're a pitcher like me, that's just a case of letting a guy off the hook, and that can really frustrate you. Stepping up now, Eddie Rosario. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing what pitch. The 1 0 is looked at for the first strike. Paxton. Also known as Big Maple due to his Canadian roots. He's currently on a one-year deal, so he stands to be a free agent at the end of this season. Hey, this guy has been an absolute solid player his entire big league career, and I expect him to have a ton of suitors come this offseason. One and one, here it comes. Well, has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Rounded to the right. And that's by him into right field for a base hit. And no sense risking anything here as the bases will be loaded now with still nobody out. Dan, after that base hit right there, he's got a six-game hit streak going. You know what? And this could be this could lead him on to something, some bigger and better things right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been rewarded for it, as you talked about. Six-game hitting streak so far. First pitch coming, here it is. Josh Donaldson is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. Pitcher on the mound has to find a way to minimize damage right here. Got to believe he's willing to trade two outs for a run. Here comes the 0-1. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. One one. Ball. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Ah. 
two and two. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. The 2-2. Two -two. And it's fouled away. Ready with another 2-2. Oh, and he struck him out. A big strike out there with the bases loaded, and that's the first out of the inning. Batting nine. So the bases are loaded here with one man gone. And in the bat next, the utility man extraordinaire Marwin Gonzalez. Has a look, now the pitch. And he fouls this one off. Bases are loaded with only one out. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Voigt is under it. Two gone. The batter, number two, second baseman, Luis Arias. In now, Luis Arias. And a golden opportunity here to give his guys the lead with three men aboard. Here comes the first pitch. No one, no pitch. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. A ball and a strike. I never found myself on the mound in the big leagues, but it must be nice to be able to go to that good hard fastball when you're in a jam. In for strike two. Hey, this is a huge pitch right here. It would be demoralizing to watch this inning slip away. Here's the one two. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. Fielded cleanly. On to first, and the Twins are turned away here as the side is retired. So no runs here on two hits, no errors, and three left. We'll go now to the top of the third, and we are tied nothing-nothing. to Target Field, home of the Twins, who've proven to have one of the best pitching staffs in baseball this year. Entering the day, they rank in the upper echelon of several pitching categories, and that doesn't go unnoticed around the clubhouse. One of the position players told me, our pitching staff has a calming influence on the entire team. We know they're going to keep us in games, and flat out, they just get the job done, and that helps everyone play more relaxed and confident. It appears this group of pitchers is a real cornerstone of this ball club, guys. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Standing Mike. in, Mike Talkman. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Pitch on the way. What? Yeah, that looked like a strike, but let me tell you, when you're staring at a big zero in the hit column, Getting a call like that to go your way can feel like a big victory. Drilled on the ground is short. Gonzalez is there. Off balance throw, but he couldn't get enough on it, so it'll be scored as an infield single. Boy, there's a quality infield base hit right there. That kind of reminded me of the old Yankee shortstop Derek Jeter on that jump throw. Hey, that's why this is the pros. Back in the day, that's a knock all day long. But up here, guys are making those plays, at least making you think about them. That's an amazing play by the shortstop to leave his feet and at least make this close. Now at the plate, Gio Urshela. First at bat for him as he enters play third in the American League batting race. There's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season 
from this guy. Not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming into this year. Now the 1-0. Hey. A runner at first with no outs here. Fouled off. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. From the belt, kicks and deals. Misses, ball two. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. So we'll see what pitch he comes with next. Grounded down the third baseline. Nobody out, runner on first. Full count now, three and two. He's definitely going to want to get greedy in his own, and he's obviously seeing the ball well, or he would have swung at that pitch. Sometimes in these long, epic at-bats, you start to get into swing mode. He's set. Here's the three and two. Donnie hey. finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine-pitch at-bat. Next for New York, the Luke Baker. Voigt. Luke Voigt. He's set. Here it comes. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Hard stuff on the corner, and he's got him 0-2 now. Borderline pitch right there. But as a low ball hitter, you can live with that as long as the umpire doesn't give him north as well. Good waste pitch, 1-2. Well, this is an approach we've seen him use effectively lately. Set up the inside and then get him out with pitches away. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0-2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. The 2-2. Two -two. Full count. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. Third inning, no score to this point. A swing and a ground ball to third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Hey, Dan, as a former pitcher, that knock just the took him to a 12-game hit streak. Okay. Is that in the packet when you're looking over the lineup? Hey, there's no doubt about that, d -Row. You go into a pitcher's meeting, and they're making fully aware of who's hot and who's not. And trust me, they knew that he had an 11-game hitting streak. And after that knock, it's an even dozen. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew, as he will look at a first-pitch fastball for ball one. This one's down to third. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. 
We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. And we are tied nothing-nothing. Bottom of the third now. And we'll standing in the red. outfielder, Byron Buxton. The center fielder, Byron Buxton. First offering on its way. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. And now pitch on the way. That's a tough pitch for a batter. If you're not expecting it, you'll end up with half a bat after you swing. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1-2. and two. As a hitter, you got to be staunch in your game plan. You know he has a nasty changeup, and you got to fight to make sure it's in the zone. That's a great take right there to two balls and two, two strikes balls, now. Two strikes. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. It's not that easy to make a good hitter look that bad, bad. but that's what right happens field. when you can bring that fastball yeah, and ride it in on the Ooh. inner half of the plate right there. You can get some pretty ugly swings. And that'll bring up the big stick of Nelson Cruz as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. The windup and the 0 1. And he pumps the fastball by him at 94. It's 0 and 2. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. No better way to minimize the potential damage a cleanup now hitter can do than to strike out both guys in front of him. Always a confidence Done. boost when you can sit down the guys at the top of the lineup. Here's Miguel Sano. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. He'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. And there's ball one. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Three and one now. Mitch Garver would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Fouled away. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. Back with more on a Thursday night following this. All set for the start of the inning. And next it'll be the outfielder, Aaron Judge. Aaron. This game is rolling right Good. along as we move into the middle innings with no score you'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on to get them in but that hasn't been the case first pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball it's one and oh this guy's been really on point so far but it's not getting any easier he has to get through four five and six right here the wind up man the one oh pitch and he won't bite at that one either it's two and oh it's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in his own he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. So it's a base knock to lead off their half of the fourth. 
So a base hit for him has him aboard to start out their half of the fourth as we take a look at the league leaderboard in hits. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. One ball, no strikes to count. Now the 1 0. Smoked on the ground, left side. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. Hey, two runners on after back to back singles now right there. They are in prime position to put Blaver. the first run on the board right here. Blaver. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 0. Well, they've yet to hang a number on the scoreboard, but it looks like they've got a great opportunity from the breakthrough. Going to be pretty demoralizing if they can't. The 1 0 home. High in the air out to center field. Buxton is right there, one down. Now batter, the catcher, Gary Sanchez. Ready now, Gary Sanchez. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fastball in there for a cold strike. Awesome execution right there. Great pitcher's pitch and an excellent job to get ahead in a tough spot. That's over, but low. It's a ball and a strike. fouled away pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four hit high in the air down the right field line Cruz is over near the line now as he makes the catch for the second out of the inning now batting left fielder Mike Talkman Stepping into the box, Mike Tuckman. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. From the stretch. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Goes down and gets this fastball and takes it high in the air to deep straightaway center. Gone! So a three run blast to deep center here. Home run number five on the year as the Yankees move out to a three to nothing lead. Man, that's painful for a pitcher. He almost worked himself out of a jam by getting two straight outs, but he made a mistake right there and paid the price. Three-run home runs like that can be so deflating. The that will bring in Giovanni Urshela. Gio as he lifts it in the air Urshela. to right field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Another look at the big blow for the Bombers. A three-run home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now 3-0 New York. At the plate, Mitch Garver. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not Hit. sure, Matt, that they want to stay Starver. as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Uh, 
Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. All over that one, but a little out in front, foul ball. Tried the old ambush tactic, and it almost worked right there. Wasn't able to keep that first pitch fastball fair. The at-bat, he's got a lot left in this. If he's able to let that one go, I still think he can have a quality A-B. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Boy, he's really out on a back. roll on the hill right now. The first As we play. roll through it again, back. remember, he struck out the Get side her. in the last inning, and now he picks up right where he left off by striking off the leadoff man here. Let's see if he can keep this going for a little bit. Riding in once again, Max Kepler. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. Not close. It's 2-0. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Too tight with it's that one. Three. three and oh. Now the pitch. Taking all the way, and it's three and one now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Line to the right side. And there are two away now. Now, oh, man, you can't West hit a ball any harder than Eddie. that. I mean, this ball gets on him in a heartbeat. Mario. Nice job to stay with it, though, and then make the out at first. Digging in, Eddie Rosario, one for one after a single this first time up. Paxton's ready. Here comes the pitch. And this oh, is right taken now. outside for ball one. Two out, nobody on. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. Pulled toward right center field. Gardner will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Twins are set down one, two, three. Still down three, nothing. Ready for another chance? Luke Voigt. And then I'm sure the starter on the mound would like to hit the rewind button on that last inning. Oh, no doubt about oh. that, Mac. That was a really rocky frame, but clearly not enough to chase him from this game. We'll see if he's still shaking a bit or if he's able to put this behind him. First offering on its way. Fastball laid off well below the knees. That evens it up one and one. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. There's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if they have to incorporate that into their mindset. I got to count two and two. The two two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. And another foul ball. An 
another try at 2 2. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you gotta find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there, as this isn't even close for ball four. And this is exactly what you want to do when you're trying to put a start away. Make him work his tail off, throw a lot of pitches, and get on base any way that you can. A big inning at this point of the game, and he's probably gone. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Brett Gardner, a hit in two tries so far. He's set and the pitch. Strike one to start the at bat. Three runs, five hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Now some action out in the Minnesota pen as it looks like both a lefty and a right hander are up to throw. Working for the punch out and the offering. Step out of the box, take a deep breath. After spitting on that changeup, you might have bought yourself a fastball. The one two. Started to chase there. They'll appeal it down to third and no swing. It's ball two. He's set. Here's the 2 2. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. A runner at first with no outs here. And he fouls this one off. The three two one more time again he sends it out of play payoff pitch one more time and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat well that call looked like it was a little in the now pitcher's back. favor but Second it base. wasn't outrageous hey listen Calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. And that sends D.J. LeMahieu into the box. 0-1 the count. Steel, From steel, the belt, steel. the pitch. Runners off for second. He swings and misses. Throw down. Perfect throw, and they got him at second. Well, in my opinion, this one all came down to the catcher's footwork on that throw. That was just perfect. You have to use your feet to get your body into a good throwing position for an accurate throw. He did it just right, and he nabs another base runner. Here it comes on nothing and two. Swing and a line drive. Foul. Two outs, nobody on, but a base runner here feels like it would really change the complexion of the inning. Big spot right here, middle of the order guy is coming up. Let's see if he can extend the inning. Oh, it takes a nasty hop, and he's unable to haul it in. Throw into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second, and with that, the side is retired. Down in order go the Yankees. They lead it three to nothing. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Twins to discuss his thoughts on Minnesota's lineup so far. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. Leading off. Okay, thank you, Heidi. The third baseman, Josh Donaldson. Here's the first pitch to him. Josh Donaldson is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. 
Now the 0 1. Nope. And he lays off for ball one. Hey. Favorable call in there for a strike. One ball, two strikes. That Whoa, misses, and we're even at two and two. And he chased it in the dirt. Sanchez finds it. And he makes the throw to first. Donaldson is retired, and there's one now away. Back. Well, you know you That's made a real stop. nice pitch when you bounce Hard it in way. the dirt, and you still get the hit Good of the swing at it. That tells me that there's a lot of deception in that pitch right now. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Now oh, back. man, that's definitely need to take another Go look in. at that one. This was straight oh, over his yeah. head, and that's such a tough play because he really can't see it very well as he's going back. He picks it up at the last minute and makes a ridiculous diving grab. That was insane. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Luis Arias. And then it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. Man, this guy has retired a whole slew right now. I think what he needs to do is just stay focused and keep attacking the game plan like he has up to this point because everything he's done has worked. A ball and a strike. Paxton steps into his windup. Here's the 1 1. This is skied into short left center. Left fielder coming on. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Down go the Twins in order. They trail it here 3 to nothing. Ladies Homer and Bailey takes over to start please. the sixth inning on the mound. Now pitching for the Twins. Number 15. Homer Bailey digging in once again Aaron Judge a fly out and a single for him so far Aaron Judge first delivery to him on the way hey And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Fly ball out toward left center field. Buxton is there, and he has it for the first out. Now batting, the designated hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo Stanton now. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hey. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Strike two taken, a fastball that clips the inside black. Bailey uses a split finger fastball as one of his weapons of choice in the arsenal. He can really be very deceptive when that pitch is working, and I'd imagine as a hitter, it's always in the back of your mind. Rolled slowly down the first baseline, but this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Oh, 
Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. And he's safe at first, so he's aboard on the drop third strike. So good awareness that time as that'll go as a strikeout, but he's aboard on the drop third strike. Ready for another shot now, Torres. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. The 0-1 on its way. One ball, one strike. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right, out of play. Runners on first with one down. Now a 58 foot curveball that misses for a ball. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. He loses him on ball four. And I'm pretty sure he thought that was a strike. He's thinking, what do I have to do? Put a bow on it? Walk it down and put it in the catcher's glove by myself? I think it got called a little outside, so he has to put it behind him now. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Gary Sanchez. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. First offering on its way. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. Three runs, six hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And nearly a three-run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Fouled off. Another 0-2 home. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Now batter. Mike the Tuckman left. will stride in again Mike. as first we flash you back to his at-bat in the fourth inning, and what a big one it was. A three-run home run that was certainly one of the big blows in the ballgame to this point. From the belt, kicks and deals. Hit out towards second. And that's through into center field. Base hit. The throw home. Ah, but this is well up the line, and he's safe at home play. Those are the ones you remember right there, Dan. That's his now fourth back. RBI of the, the night, and that doesn't happen often throughout Yo. the course of the season. And you know, as a pitcher, you see what this guy's been doing. You know he's having a good night. He's a tough guy, and he's a tough guy to pitch around. Some nights you just have to tip your cap. A pretty good night. Four ribbies in this one here. Stepping in now, Gio Urshela. Pitch popped up. And he's able to get there on the long run, and he covered a lot of ground there as the side is retired. Yankees forced to settle for one. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth. The Yankees four, and the Twins nothing. So that'll bring in Byron Buxton. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well, when you go to surrender one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, 
You know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. First pitch of the at-bat. Yeah! Oh one's the count. The wind-up and the 0 one And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. Tries to drag his way on here, but now he's behind one and two. And that misses two and two. Here's the pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Tuckman is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Now so the shutout still intact right here in the sixth as we Delta. check out the league leaderboard for Rude. Team ERA. And you can see that this staff currently leads the AL in that category. The next twin up, Nelson Cruz. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. First delivery to him on the way. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Boom goes the dynamite. A solo home run from Nelson Cruz. Home run number 15 for him thus far. As they get on the board, it's 4-1 to one now. They're still down, but this homer right there might light a fire under the whole team. Give them a spark to climb back into this thing. We'll see if this gets them going. At the plate so now, Miguel Sano. And look out as that fastball no, ran no. in and got him. Ouch, Brand. So coming now to the plate, batter. Mitch Chapter. Garver, one in, Mitch. one out, and Garver. one on here in the inning. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Laid off the bender there, but it's in for a called strike. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. Ready with the 0 1. Hard hit ball to second. And that gets through for a one out base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now bat it. You know, as First a former baseball. infielder, Danny, they bat. always say you can't be in two places at once, but you got to be a little frustrated right here that that ball found a hole. Yeah, that's a tough thing. You make a quality pitch, and a guy shoots one through the right side, normally a vacated spot right there. Nine out of ten times, somebody's there to make that play. Unfortunately not, and now we've got a couple of guys on. Max Kepler the next to grab a bat. No balls in one strike. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Count, one and one. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Into center field. Line drive base hit. Now a long throw home. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. That's what we refer to in the biz the as a hanger the right field. there. He's lucky Eddie. he's getting his baseball back. Rosario. Here comes the Yankee skipper on his way to the mound. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. 
So he'll leave with the lead. Can't lose this one, but he is responsible for the two runners out there, so he could get a no decision if they were to come around and score. Your Zach Britton please. takes the mound to try now to get out of this mess. Goal. There are two Number on with only three. one away. Zach Britton. So now to the plate, Eddie Rosario. Yes, he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. A hit in two tries for him so far. That's lifted the other way out to left. Tuckman is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. The third baseman, number 24, Jump Donaldson. Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. Here comes the first pitch. Hey. Two men are on with two men out. Oh, good spot. On the black for strike two. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. Britain's ready. 0-2 on its way. Slider, and it's off his glove, and it bounces away. So now two men in scoring position. Second and third, two away. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. One two pitch. Good take right there. He's given him a great battle with guys in scoring position. We'll see who's going to win this duel. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Boom goes the dynamite. So a three-run blast to straightaway left. Number 17 for him on the season as they will take the lead here. It's now a 5-4 ball game. Wow, talk about a guy getting hot, right? Hits a bomb, hit one yesterday. Usually when he gets hot, he starts to hit them in bunches. And this could be the beginning of a very, very good hot streak. Up next for Minnesota, not your stop. Marwin. Into the box, Marwin Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Britton, a California-born ball player. He was selected in the third round or in the first-year player draft of 2006. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. The 1 0. Hard hit ball to second. Throw in time, and they stop the bleeding as this side is retired. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate in scoring five. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Twins five and the Yankees four. Now to the plate, Luke Voigt. He'll match up with Homer game. Bailey now to lead off the inning. This Four. thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. Oh. 
Softly hit toward the hole. And the flip comes to Bailey at first for the put out. Now batting the center fielder, Brett Gardner. Here's Brett Gardner now. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. And that misses ball one. A ball and a strike. One out, nobody on. Just got the corner that time with a fastball, strike two. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Under it is Cruz now for route number two. Now batting the second baseman, T.J. LeMahieu. So striding forward now, D.J. LeMahieu. He was thrown out at second trying to stretch a base hit into a double in his last at-bat. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Cold strike at the letters, 0-1. Oh Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Lays off the slider and it's 1-1. One one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Oh, had him off stride that time and it's 1-2. and two. Real ugly 0-1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. Here now the 2-2. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Two out, nobody on. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. I know one thing. He earned that free pass right there. He was tempted with some really good pitches, but he stayed disciplined and drew the walk. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And that'll bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year, Big Aaron Judge. From the stretch, here's the pitch. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. and Hey, I know the tying runs at first right here, but if the pitcher on the mound executes, keeps the ball in play, I think good things are going to happen. Two out with the man at first. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Side three and oh now. Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. And he missed with it. Ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. Oh, man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just missed. And now the inning continues with a man in scoring position. Tyler Duffy will come on now to make his 30th appearance of the year so far. Number 21, Tyler Duffy. Giancarlo Stanton will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. Trying to hold the lead, here is the delivery.
He sent the 0 1. And it's 1 and 1. In there at the letters, 1 and 2 now. Hey, there aren't too many power hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. Off the plate that time and a little high. It's even at two and two. Just hung in there on that one. He set the two two. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. Fouled away. He set the payoff pitch. Squared that one up just a little late. He sent the 3 2. Swung on and hit deep to left center. This one has a chance. And as Yankees fans here on television quite frequently, see ya. A three run home run for Giancarlo Stanton. Number 21 for him on the season. And they take a 7 to 5 lead. Yeah, that was solid strategy going with the right-handed reliever there, looking for the right-on-right -right advantage, but he took that strategy and blasted it into the outfield stands. Got on the bump, just didn't execute the pitch he wanted. Up next for the game. Into the box now, the Torres. Torres. Labor. Yes, he'll look at a what fastball over. too high for ball one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. The 1-0 is ball. taken for ball two. two and oh. Three runs already home here. Two and one after the foul ball there. Nope. Nearly got the inside but ruled the ball. We all know this guy is a great hitter in a 3-1 count. This is just what he's looking for. He loves to hit when the count's in his favor like this. And, oh, that should have been ball four there, but it's a called strike, and that runs things full at three and two. And a fastball misses there, ball four. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger Next. like that to the end Gary. and end up walking him than okay. serving on up where he can really hurt you. Coming to the plate now, Gary Sanchez. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Yeah. First pitch is a slider called for a strike. Yeah, he made up his mind early to take the first pitch because that thing was right down the middle. Off one the ball, plate, one, one ball, one strike. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Ladies and gentlemen, another look at the big the blow for the Bombers. A three-run home run. Bottom of the seventh inning coming up. Get up and stretch. It's the Yankees seven and the Twins five. Tommy Kingley gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 48, Tommy Kingley. 
ready to go for the last half of the inning. Be and set to go Robert is the Quinn. second baseman, Luis Arias. Even though Louis. we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only oh, yeah. down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. First pitch of the at bat. Ball one. Change up. A little bit inside. One and oh. And now pitch on the way. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Set and the 1 1 pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Judges under it, and that's the first out of the inning. The center fielder, number 25. Byron. One gone now in the Minnesota Buxton. seventh, and that'll bring up the speedy outfielder, Byron Buxton. First pitch coming, here it is. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at bat. It's ball one. Trying to bunt his way aboard, but he can't connect, and it's one and one. Trying to make something happen there with a drag bunt. Couldn't get it down, but I like that he waited a pitch to give it a try. Sometimes that will back the defense up a bit if they're anticipating it on the first pitch of an A-B. One ball and two strikes to count. The one-two. Two balls. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's now just batting. what they did right, right there. Fielder. Big strikeout, Delta. keep that guy off the base path. Through. To the plate now, Nelson Cruz. Help, As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. The 1-0. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Gardner has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. Twins are set down 1-2-3. They're down 2-7-5. Two, Start of the eighth on its way, but first Heidi Watney standing by with this report. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He told me it feels like every ball they've put in play has been a laser. And the numbers back that up. Six of their hits have come off the bat at 90 miles an hour or harder, guys. Thank you, Heidi. Corey Garrett has been summoned from the now bullpen as he'll do swing. so to start the eighth. Number 38, Corey. Garrett. So striding in, Mike Talkman. He singled his last time up. The left fielder, Mike Talkman. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hey. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Lifted down the line in right and back out of play. Count holds it 0 and 2. 
Guerin was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes, that elevated oh, fastball. Every hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something with that, but most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there, a big swing and a miss and another strikeout. Standing in now, Gio Urshela, and he fouls this one off. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Good slider there, gets a swing and miss. Guerin, 33 years old, he was a fourth-round selection back in the draft of 2007. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy, drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. And he looks at a ball, one and two. High fastball right there with a two-strike count. You know what that might be doing? Setting up the next pitch could be that hard slider down and away, something breaking down and away off the plate. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. At the plate, Luke Voigt. Nope. He'll take a look at the pitch too low. It's ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Now the 1 0. That's the ball. Two tough sliders right there, but he was able to lay off him. Might have bought himself a fastball in this situation. Now the 2 0. Down low, and the plot thickens here. 3 and 0. Oh. Well, he knows it, but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. The 3 0 oh pitch. Aye. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. So that's the second walk he's worked in this one. Yeah, and that seems right. to be a popular approach when this guy steps in. He can really hurt you with one swing. So I think the idea is mostly not to let this one guy beat you, Matt. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And up next, the left-handed hitting Brett Gardner. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Nope. That's inside. A runner on first with two away. Close there, but he doesn't get the call with the breaking ball. Man, that's a great take right there. Backdoor slider just missed the outside corner. This guy must have a really good eye. Most guys swing at that pitch. Smoke toward the hole. And Gardner's going to reach. It's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now that He looked a little bit out in front right there, but he's able to pull that ground ball through the hole for a single. So now to the plate, D.J. LeMayhew. Oh, a fastball just about undressed him there. It's ball one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Looked like the sinker there dipped a little below the knees. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. 
You cannot miss over the heart of the plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. Hit on the ground out to short. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Yankees seven and the Twins five. Chad Green is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 57, Chad Green. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And striding the forward, the designated the hitter, designated Miguel Sano. Miguel Sano. He's set. Here it comes. And that misses inside 1 0. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Swung on and missed. One and one. Two balls on the strike. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. All even now, two and two. Now here's the pitch. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. The 2 2 one more time. Look out, a fastball up near his dome, and that'll wake you up a bit. Well, what do you do when guys keep fouling pitches off like this? I guess you could back them off the plate by throwing one inside. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. In now, Mitch Garver. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. One. one out, nobody on. Into the corner and slicing foul. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Good pitch right there with the bases empty. Why not take a shot, throw that breaking ball in the dirt, and see if he'll chase after it? The one two. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. Ball two. Count, two and two. Bases are empty, one man out. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Gardner going back. 
to the track. Boom goes the dynamite. So a solo shot here to left center field. And it's now a one-run game, 7-6 to six now. Now batter, first baseman, Matt. At the plate now, Max Kepler. Kepler, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. A hit and two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. And, wow, a very high strike, but a strike nonetheless, and it's one and one. Plain to see right there that the manager is sticking up for his hitter, making sure that that strike zone gets a little bit tighter. It's tough to cover both sides of the plate, and they both want that strike zone to be shrinked up a little bit. The 1-1 home. Hit back up the middle. Torres brings it in, and there's out number two. The left fielder, number 20, Eddie. Rosario. Digging in, Eddie Rosario. He flew out in his last at bat. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Down on the shins and missed with it. Ball one. Two out, nobody on. Two and zero to the Twins left fielder. Two balls. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. Not being very aggressive right now. Now the 2-0 home. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. But he will make the catch on the dead run as he tracks it down just shy of the wall and the side is retired. Twins do draw closer, however, and they do it via the solo home run. Ninth inning coming up. It's now a 7-6 ball game. Sergio Romo enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. There go. Romo. Kicking off the top of the ninth, Aaron Judge, as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. From the stretch, strike one to start the at-bat. He's going to eliminate that pitch right there. He was all over that, just wasn't able to keep it fair, but he's not going to see that pitch again. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And this is swung on and missed. And the American League's leading hitter is gone on strikes. One away. Pretty textbook pitching right there. Oh, Jump ahead in the count 0-2 and but then start working hitter. outside the Don zone. Carlo. Easier said than done, but that's the way you do it. Into the box, Giancarlo Stanton. As he'll watch a sinker here that misses its ball one. Two hits in four attempts to this point. The 1 0 home. Hey. Romo, a California born ball player. He's a veteran of 13 years at the major league level, which really points to the consistency he's shown since he first broke in. 
Yeah, Matty, no kidding right there. I'll tell you what, the grind to get to the big leagues is so hard. Guys just want, they just want to spend a month, a day in the big leagues. So to put yourself here for 12 years screams to your ability to adjust and be a great teammate. Some movement now in the Minnesota bullpen as a right-hander's up and throwing. One-run game here in the top of the ninth. hit pretty well out toward right center field right fielder giving chase he makes the running play two down the batter the shortstop labor Torres digging in Torres it was a walk in his last trip First pitch of the at bat. Nope, a ball and no ball. strikes. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. The 1 0. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Him out, so it remains a one run lead as they head in for their final set of swing. So the Yanks go one, two, three as they still cling to a seven six lead. Your a this Chapman lead. comes out of the bullpen now, to shut things game. down here in the ninth. Number 54, Aroldis Chapman. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And that Four brings up win. the former American League the MVP, baseman, Josh Donaldson. Josh. Donaldson. First pitch coming. Here it is. And a fastball is in there for strike one. A one and one count now to Donaldson. Man, that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. Chapman ready, the 1-1. One, one. Now ball in two strikes now. Whew, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Ball two as the breaking ball misses inside. Two two it was laid off and the count runs full. It's been a great job so far by the A ball hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. Fouled off. Again, another foul ball. And this is taken for ball four. So just like that, the time runs aboard to start the home half. Well, there's only a one-run cushion to play with, so he's got to be upset after he walked the leadoff man here. Go ahead, Your run comes to the plate, please. and there are no outs. Now this four, could be a very four. interesting inning. Number 11. Into the four box head. now, Marwin Gonzalez. Oh, Fourth trip to the plate for him, and he's at risk of ending that nice hitting streak that he's put together. 
Yeah, chances are it's on his mind, Matt, but you just have to let that get out of the way as best you can. You have to approach this at bat just like any other. Otherwise, you're just getting in your own way. He's set and the pitch. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. Here's a swing and a miss, one and one. A ball and two strikes to the twin shortstop. Hey, you know in the back of your mind as a batter right here, he's got that nasty sinker. I know it's 0-2, but he might not be looking for the punch out. You have to find a way as a batter to get that two-seamer up in the zone or you're going to ground into a double play. The 1-2. He swung on and missed strike three. For me, check swings are right there next to bang bang place at first the as batter, the most difficult two. calls for an up to make. Baseman. Taking a look at show Holy. motion, the batter doesn't oh, appear oh, yeah. to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. From the belt, the pitch. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Weak grounder down the first baseline. But this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. One out, one on in a one-run game. And he couldn't get him to chase the 0-2 fastball. It's 1-2. and two. Lined hard toward right center. Judge will have plenty of room as he makes the catch, and there's a big out number two. The center fielder, number 25, Byron Buxton. Striding into the box, Byron Buxton. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Quick check on that tying run at first. And a dive, but he's back in there. Here's the first pitch to him. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. And the inning is going to continue here as he reaches on an infield single. Hey, this game is close right here, but I'll take you inside the mindset even if it was a blowout. I know the team's down to their final out, but you'll be hard-pressed to ever find an offensive player give away an A-B. Nice infield single right there to keep the line moving. Standing in now, Nelson Cruz. He's the last chance with the tying and winning runs on base and two men gone here in the ninth. Ball one. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making them work for this one. Two big outs here, but the tying and winning runs are both out there. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Final strike for the Twins. Struck him out, so he'll strand the possible tying run at second, and a great job of working out of trouble as this ball game is over. Well, they sure made it interesting in the ninth, but they leave the tying run stranded at second, and the winning run helplessly at first.
could have gone either way, but we were treated to a great battle. A tight one, 7-6, to six, the final score tonight. The New York Yankees jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Zach Britton earns his third win of the year in relief. Aroldis Chapman closes the door for the save, his 17th on the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.